We have season four right around the corner and tested every single necro build on the test round. Which one is good for leveling? The pit, tormented bosses, and which one can do it all? Heads up right away, you don't have to play summons if you just want to beat the standard content. Tier 100, Lilith, Uber bosses, and let's say the pit until level 50. And you should be good with whatever you would like to play. But if you truly want to kick in the turbo boost and especially go as deep in the pit as possible, then minions might be something you have to get friendly with. The lowest of the lows is Bone Spirit. Can level from 1 to 100, bit clunky. In the overworld as well, not the best. For unique and tormented bosses, you will take the longest compared to the others, despite being able to do Bone Spirit damage of 10, 15 million damage. Yes, that is possible. Nightmare 100s are quite fun to go through because you're just shotgunning everything death. Uber Lilith will die after a while. The Gauntlet, we don't talk about that. Bone Spirit not doing very well. And the Pit is probably the weakest because the HP of the enemies just scales too high. This gets followed up by Bloodlands. Better in the 1 to 100 department because of essence per second nowadays on gear. Okay in the overworld. Unique and tormented bosses will actually fall very well because you can boost the overpower damage to incredible values as Nightmare 100s are chilly to do with Uber Lilith being just an easy challenge. The Gauntlet and Leaderboard, yeah. Bloodlands is a bit iffy there because the damage stacks up and then goes and it's not like this instant damage that Surge has. The same goes for the Pid. Yes, you do a lot of damage, but since you rely on Barrier always being healthy, Bloodlands comes to the point where it's being kicked down a notch every single time. Bloodlands Summoner, though, is performing better than Bloodlands alone because you have the minions functioning as damage buffer. The same kind of goes for Blood Surge. Alone, it works very well and it's going to dominate the gauntlet as always. Uber Lilith, Nightmare 100, completely destroyed. Leveling, super fun journey. Overworld, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Unique and tormented bosses are going to take a while with the Blood Surge alone. With the Summoner, it's way smoother. And the Pit itself feels horrible with Blood Surge. It's the same as Abattoir Zur, where you can do a lot of damage, but your enemies are doing so much damage back that you're simply not out damaging them, kinda. And the boss fights just feel goddamn awful. Adding minions to the fray feels a bit better, but nothing compared to the other minion varieties. Now to our good old Bone Spear that's actually in the bottom four right now. Yes, there's a bunch of builds above this. Bone Spear is still fantastic for leveling, overworld, unique bosses, tormented, nightmare 100s, and uber lilith. And in the gauntlet leaderboard, I managed to secure always top 100, if not top 20, with Bone Spear. Definitely working. But when it came down to the pit, it did do a lot of damage, and it does work better than Blood Surge. Still, though, if you're fighting the boss and you're going to be dodging the boss echoes, then you're going to try to be on the right range. Always have your Bone Storm up for the barrier. All that together, eh, that's where Bone Spear is not really feeling all high and mighty. Now, looking at the Bone Spear Summoner, though, as our first summoner, fantastic leveling, way quicker speed because minions shred. Overworld getting destroyed. Unique bosses and torment getting torn into pieces. Why? Because of the new bone mages and yes the bone mages are insane being able to boost him being able to cast bone spears themselves and that works together with your uniques and tau goes bonkers gauntlet should be fantastic the pit was merely okay i'm giving it a one star because the other summoners are so much stronger could probably give it two axes here because it's performing definitely better than the normal bone spear but not on par with what the other summoners have to offer because it felt like a distinctive lack of damage on the pit 200s but until 1890 it was top tier. For every build will have a link in here that shows you how to actually build this. You can currently already enjoy this in season three. The summoners will be slightly weaker. The other builds work equivalently well. Now, after the summoner comes actually the Shadow Necromancer. And here we're talking about the Even Piercer Necromancer, the new necklace that quadruples our blight casting. The amulet is bugged right now, but even without the amulet, it's insane. And with the fixed amulet, it will be even better. Leveling is quite smooth. Overworld is nice. Unique and tormented bosses are okay. Nightmare 100 is a breath. Uber Lilith goes really well too. On the little board, I'm, the summoners will just simply dominate there and Blood Surge is doing better. And the pit, it was doing 
plenty well and it could do pit 200 just a whiffy slower than the other builds especially considering that then the even piercer gets fixed so i'm only putting it at 2x because it's good but it's nowhere near compared to the summoners as the summoners are not bugged and just working and that brings us to the pure army of the dead summoner the pure army of the dead summoner is still playing the ring of mendown but we're using the army of the dead to truly boost our damage we're using blood mist to stay alive there's no golem being there and it just zooms to 1 to 100 overworld unique tormented bosses nightmare 100 uber lith gone the leaderboard and the pit 200 has fallen almost the easiest almost because there's one build that is on top of that and that is our shadow summoner they are probably equal the thing is the shadow summoner could play the even piercer too and if you sacrifice survivability on the shadow summoner and add army of the den instead of blood mist the damage is double or triple of what the pure summoner does you will be way weaker and susceptible to death in pit 200 if you only do pit 90 because that's enough for material the damage is in off the charts one to 100 fantastic overworld unique bosses tormented everything just falls easy in front of you and the reason is that you're getting with the blighted key passive 120 percent bonus damage and that 120 percent bonus damage is going all the way over to your minions and multiplying their damage and if you then think about army of the dead instead of blood blood mist because you don't die in pit 90s then you get the 120 percent times the 100 percent bonus damage your minions are achieving and that then times the 150 percent and the 60 percent of the 45 and all the percentages that minions are multiplying and that's where the shadow summoner is just slightly on top of the pure summoner but both are absolutely incredible as you can see there's almost no bad leveling build everything can take you from one to 100 in a good time but minions just make leveling so much faster and that's very simple if they take 100 of your stats at any point they're more surviving you don't have to waste skill points to actually boost their survivability because they that got that already going and they're actually keeping up with your damage now you could sacrifice them but what you're getting in the beginning is like 15 percent more damage and if you don't do a lot of damage getting 15 percent more is not that much Having minions, though, that do exactly your damage, plus the multiplier you actually have from your skill tree, plus the Hellband Commander, they are an absolute force that you don't want to in any way disregard. I would say from level 1 to 60, minions are absolutely mandatory. You, you have to play them. There's no way you're going to face them out in Season 4. Afterwards, as you go then for World Tier 4 and have your whole skills laid out and get all the aspects and everything going on sure if you then feel like facing them out do it but i will definitely to 100 every single time with minions in season four any build now there is the season four theme coming that will probably change some things here and there and we'll be making sure to accommodate for that but these are the builds right now already that i recommend you to check out and already get pumped for the coming season four which one is it going to be for you put it in the comments below and if you do want to see the summoners in action here's the two builds explained in detail